Hello everyone. I'm actually not sure if this is a recording or not. Uh, this is, uh, I'm wearing gloves because I have to get the mail. I had a uh, special package come today. It just arrived and I'm so excited to get it. But right now I'm taking Kai out to the bathroom. I'm not sure if you can see him because this, like guys, this is a really weird camera. But it's one I've wanted for a long time. It's my mom's old one. Come on, Kai. Um, it's a Canon... Let's see, where is this? It's a Canon SX30 Power Shot. It's a pretty old camera. She's had it for, I think, like 10 years now. So I'm not sure, like, how the, the speaker is picking me up and how the video quality is actually going to be. If it's not what I want, I'll probably end up going back to my old recorder. And I hate to do that because I am loving this camera so far. So like I said, I'm taking Kai out, then I'm going to get the mail, and I'll show you what I got. Because it's probably going to be taking up a lot of my time, at least for the first week or two of this readathon. And I have done quite a bit of reading, more so in the manga department. I've actually finished one of my classes by reading a manga, and then I'm like... One of my required classes. And then I started Winter, which is for my astronomy class, which isn't a required course. And that book I have um, around about six hours left at the audiobook, which is around about 222 pages. 222 pages, I think, yeah. Of it left and I'm hopefully going to finish like just another couple of hours of the audiobook which would be a little less than 100 pages or depending on like where the action is I may actually read 100 pages tonight but like most of my day is going to be going to this special delivery that I got I wiped down the all of the outside of it in Clorox wipes and I wiped down this packaging of course I haven't taken it out of its plastic and I kind of need to do that and I know I could get scissors but I'm going to have to get scissors because my nail is not cutting it like it usually does uh, so I get Animal Crossing and I'm sure quite a few of you already had this game or have heard of this game I hope you've heard of this game it's been around since the GameCube which was when I first played it and I think I only had it on that and the 3DS. And I can tell you right now, the last time... Animal Crossing is a good game. It's an addicting game. But it gets to a certain point where you just, like, stop playing it. So, <laughs> I decided to, like, pick up my one on the 3DS one day. And if you travel back in time, which is an okay thing to do, Nintendo realizes that it's a function in the game. And they haven't done anything about it, so they're okay with it. But... Even if you travel back in time to when you last played the game, the residents still haven't seen you in years and your island is still in shambles. So it's safe to say after like two hours of picking up weeds and trying to like fix everything and so many villagers moving out, it was just, I couldn't anymore. So I just set the game aside. So I'm hoping with this one, considering there are so many new aspects and additions to the game, that I won't get bored as easily. And even if I don't want to like play all the time, I'll still want to play like at least once or twice a week would be nice after a certain point. Let's hope. I can already tell you that I'm going for like a anime, well, I the theme of the island itself, I want to be very Asian, but for my character and the clothes my character wears, I want to be very anime. There's also these adorable Harry Potter outfits that I'm 100% getting. I don't know if they have the one with the scarf in Ravenclaw colors, but I'm going to try. You actually have to um, download the Nintendo app to be able to like get the QR codes for some of these outfits, but I, can't, I just cannot wait to get them. and. That's just one of the extra things about this uh, game that's just so exciting to get into. I mean, if you guys haven't played Animal Crossing, you don't really, you probably are wondering why I'm going all crazy about this. But it's just the fact that I can design clothes and I can look like an anime character, I can look like a Harry Potter character, I can look like a duck if I wanted to, or even a bear. And it's just 
amazing and I love it and I, I just I can't wait to get into it. But moving on to things that you guys probably actually care about and that's my reading that I've actually been able to accomplish so far. Um, I finished my charms class owl which is to read a book with mostly white on the cover and well it said a white cover but I don't think there's a completely white cover book anywhere so I just chose the most white I could get that was on my TBR and that is Haiku Volume 7. I actually started this book at midnight and finished it I think around 1.30 so it's a very quick read but that's mainly because I have watched the anime and I know exactly what's going to happen so I think the longest part of this manga for me was when let me see if I can find it. It was when it was going into the backstory with um, Oikawa. This one, it just it just had so many panels that was like a constant stream of just reading, and that's not a bad thing because you get to know Aikawa's character more. Oikawa, Aikawa, I call them both. Oikawa is, I think, the appropriate way to say it. But anyways, it's just like little like all of this it's just a lot to take in and I'm trying to sympathize with him but at the same time I can't stand his character on some level and another thing about this read oh, 4 out of 5 stars by the way I love this anime and manga series it's just the best and I haven't watched season 4 yet so please don't spoil me in the comments I'm waiting until the full season is done before I watch it because if I watch the first half before the second half is out and I have to wait, I'm going to go insane. But anyways, I made this cute little bookmark with Kageyama and Hinata on it. Uh, I wish I had done Kageyama's hair a little differently and the shading wasn't how I expected it to turn out, but that was the first time I had ever done shading with a paintbrush. So there was that, but I absolutely love how this turned out. It's adorable. I mean, there are obviously some other things that I wish I'd done differently, but this is my first time drawing any of the haiku characters, normal or chibified, and it was also the first time I had tried to do such a detailed drawing in paint, so I really love how it turned out. And I use this whenever I want to read any of my haiku mangas, which I own all of them, I just need to get to them. And an update on Winter by Marissa Meyer, I started to read this last night but I don't know if I said before but my stomach was hurting really bad last night not as bad as it is today uh, so I didn't really feel like getting on the treadmill which is how I listen to the audio well any audiobook really is I get on the treadmill and I listen to probably around two hours of it while I am exercising and taking a bath and such afterwards. But instead last night I just played Stardew Valley for like 12 hours, which is addicting in its own right. But I probably won't play it much now that I have Animal Crossing. Anyways, I am well into book four. This is about how far I am. When I made my TBR, I was 78 pages into this book. Now I am on page 600 and 10. The, this is I think the first book that has five books, or you know, it's broken up into five books. And let's see, where, oh where, here it is. This is how much I have of book four left, and all this is book five, which is a little less than 200 pages. I was 100% going to just finish book four yesterday, but since my stomach felt bad and I didn't feel right, like, leaving less than 200 pages left to read of this book in the readathon. I feel bad for even counting this towards the class, but the fact that it isn't a required class for my owls, it's just, can I just count this as not an actual O, but count it as like an acceptable? Because I feel bad for counting it. If it makes you guys feel any better, I really didn't read all of this from like my TBR video on. All of this has been read in like the last three to four days, so it wasn't that far off the readathon. In all honesty, I was just hoping to make it to like the halfway point and then count the rest of it towards the readathon, but once I got to a certain point, I just wanted to read and read and read and I couldn't stop. So that's pretty much where I stand right now. I have finished my charms class, which is a required class, and I am almost finished with winter, which is for my astronomy class. 
I'm also doing stories on Instagram, which you guys can check out if you want. I'm just posting the current books I'm reading and what class they're on. Not in the actual pictures, but literally in the stories. I just learned how to use Instagram stories, so I'm excited about that. But I also filled these out. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, I filled these out. This is um, haiku. I did it by chapter instead of page because I don't know why. I just felt better doing it that way. And here's winter. You can tell it's like all of this, but the last box is uh, shaded in. And then there's five more down here. So I got six hours left. But I did already color in the potion bottles. I have haiku in orange and black, like the cardinal colors. And then I just kind of went crazy with winters. It's like a, kind of a paint pen that's over that and has a nice texture to it. Try to recreate the cover. Didn't turn out very well. Another thing I did that you guys haven't seen yet, if you watch my TDR, is the first week of April is pretty short, and I left like a double page spread for that. I'm not sure why. So what I did is I made a daily reading tracker, and down here are or down here are all the books that I need to read for the readathon, and I'm assigning a color to them as I read them, so that when I read them, I can like fill in the shaded boxes in that color. And I completely forgot to like number the like page amount here, so I just put there that each box is like 50 pages. So Haiku was 192 pages and it took up very, very little. It's safe to say I will most likely not finish, like fill out a whole row of this ever. But it's my first time making a daily reading tracker and for some reason when it comes to readathons, especially long ones, I really like to track every little thing. So this is me kind of going crazy. But I'm going to let you guys go for now. This clip has been way too long. This first vlog is only going to cover the first four days of the readathon since the first week of April is so short. And I don't plan on it being very long, but judging by this clip alone, it's probably going to be at least a good 20 minutes after editing and before editing. It's probably going to be like two or three hours long. So I'm already dreading that. So I will see you guys later. update. I wish I had adjusted my tripod now, but no time. Um, I got to chapter 85 in winter. So I read this much. It's 104 pages and I read that in about an hour and 20 minutes while I was on the treadmill, which I kind of didn't help matters then. I've already had a shower and I had pizza rolls for supper, which did not do me any good, but I really didn't feel like cooking. And as you can see, I think maybe at the corner of the screen, yeah, you can, you can see. Um, I'm not playing uh, Animal Crossing right now. I'm actually going to play some Fortnite because my nephew texted me and asked me if he, I wanted to play if I wasn't too tired. And... I honestly can't say no to him, so we're going to play some Fortnite. And Kai's apparently going to join in. <laughs> he usually does. But yeah, uh, I more than likely will play for a couple of hours, like until midnight, and then I'll probably play Animal Crossing for way too long, and then either not go to sleep at all, or I will go to sleep at like 6 o'clock in the morning like I did last night, and it just won't be a good time. I'm just going to go play now, but that was my first day of reading for the Owls Readathon. I read a total of 296 pages. If I'm I'm going off Goodreads. So if their numbers are right, that's 296 pages is how much I read. And also before I get off, um 
Apparently, the Reading Rush slash back book tripathon is having a readathon sometime in April. I done forgot the dates. I may or may not participate in that. I'm not sure. I'm already doing a readathon, so it really wouldn't hurt me to do another one inside this one. But it really depends on what all they're doing, like how uh, strict the rules and stuff are going to be, or the challenges, I should say. And I don't know, if I don't participate in like the reading part, I'll at least participate in like the photo challenges and video challenges, or try to. But yeah, it may be a little too much them taking on. But anyway, see you guys tomorrow. So guys, it's now Thursday, April 3rd, so you're probably wondering where Wednesday went, and Wednesday went to Animal Crossing, gonna be completely honest, I, uh, Monday night, I left you guys, I was ready to go play Fortnite, and I played Fortnite with my nephew until 3.30 in the morning, by the time we got off, I was exhausted, and I just went to bed, so I didn't actually start Animal Crossing until... Wednesday afternoon after I woke up and did a few like necessary things around the house so I, I didn't do any reading Wednesday so you guys really didn't miss anything I think I took a little clip yeah I did take a little clip of where I was starting Animal Crossing it was like the little intro scene you get when you start up the game and today I also spent a long time on Animal Crossing and it's currently what time is it it's 10 p.m. at night and I just obviously got out of the shower and that's because I spent an hour and 40 minutes on the treadmill finishing winter. This was how much I lacked finishing the book Monday and it's a hundred and nine pages I believe. I believe this was 109 pages. Let me just say I was going to do like a re spoiler free review of the entire series I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that or not. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to wait until my thoughts like process before I, because I've been reading this series since January. So I've already processed my thoughts about the first three books. This one may take a bit longer because there was a few things that I felt needed to be tied up towards the end that wasn't. But that may be because they get tied up in Stars Above, which I plan on reading next as an audiobook. But overall, this book was a lot different than I was expecting out of an 800 plus page book. Mainly because most of the action centered around like the final like 150, 200 pages. And everything before that was just like, it almost felt like cause and effect. It's like they did something, it caused this, they reacted like this then it caused something else, they reacted like that. I mean, that's not a bad thing because it was it was going back and forth, but it also felt like because everything was happening in a matter of hours, they didn't have time to like plan out much of anything. It's like we go into it with plans. Those plans get completely trashed from the get-go, but they scrounge up as much as they can of the plan and like see those points through. Honestly, without Crest, they wouldn't have been able to do much of anything with the plan after Lavana got on them. So, Crest is the real MVP of this. But yeah, it w this is really, really enjoyable. I think without processing my thoughts, it's a 4 out of 5 stars. But that may change after I've had some time to think about it. And I'm sorry if my eye keeps wandering over here, but I want to make sure I'm saying in frame because I'm just, I'm not used to this camera yet. I'm trying my hardest. I also hope you guys can hear me because I am still not sure if that's the mic that's picking up my voice or if it's beside the lens. I'm not 100% sure. It's very difficult to tell. I'm not used to this camera yet. It's probably going to take at least a good two or three videos being made before I am used to it. Hopefully by the end of this month I'll have this camera down packed. But yeah, that was all the reading I've done. I have finished Haiku, which went to my charms exam, and I have finished Winter, and I finished Winter completely at nighttime, as you guys probably can't tell, but it's dark outside. 
And Winter went to my astronomy class, which I didn't actually need to complete astronomy, but I did anyways because I was currently reading it. So I now have five books technically to read. I think what I'm going to do next, obviously I'm going to finish, or finish, I'm going to start Stars Above. I got the audiobook waiting on this. I also was supposed to get the audiobook for Heartless today. I need to see if that actually came through on Overdrive. But I do plan on listening to Stars Above while I'm on the treadmill. And I think, unless I get like too engrossed into this, I will more than likely start Darius the Great is Not Okay and read it throughout the day and save this only for treadmill time. I don't think I will get these confused just because they are such different books. I mean, one's a contemporary that takes place in Iran, and this, I'm assuming, is going to take mainly on, like, Luna. If it doesn't, it'll probably take place, like, in the, uh, well, France, I guess, and uh, the Commonwealth, so China. I'm not sure I'm going to film tomorrow. It all depends on what is happening in Animal Crossing. I have set up the museum is about to upgrade for the final time. I'm actually going to have like a full museum. And then the Nook shop should be in. And then hopefully my three residents will start the process of moving in. So I'll have like stuff I need to do around the island to get it ready. My house should also be upgraded. I got the second upgrade on it already. And I'm currently in the process of saving money to pay that off. But... The point is, all that stuff is supposed to be upgrading tomorrow or opening tomorrow, and I kind of want to focus on that for like a good part of the day, and it depends on how long that takes, and it also depends on what all I have to do with my mom and my aunt, so I may or may not film because I don't know if I'm going to read or not. If I read, of course I'll give you guys a little update, but if not, this is kind of the end of the vlog. And if that's the case, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you guys leave what you are reading in the comments below, how many books you have read so far, what your career choice has been. Tell me anything and everything. I love getting comments from you guys, and I love interacting with you guys, I just, and I love talking about anything to do with Harry Potter. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. I have no idea where the recording button on this camera is.